the search was both on land and water. And one of the uh, in, in unbelievable events last night was the weather. Uh, the weather was impossible. We could not uh, use the drones that we normally would put up in the air. They were ineffective in the rain. Um, County Captain Police Jim Greer, when he arrived at the scene, he suggested that we ping the uh, cell phones. And April and her staff were able to get the cell phone numbers of both the pilot and the passenger that were on the plane. Uh, we were able to then ping. Uh, that gave us a general idea of where the plane was. Uh, still not sure of whether or not it was in the water or on the land. Uh, later in the evening, a couple of hours into the event, uh, the DEP was on the scene. It was their property. Uh, they provided boats. They provided personnel. They provided security and control. As you know, as soon as word goes out that there's been an event like this, everybody comes. Everybody wants to help. And unfortunately, that doesn't always work well. So I want to personally thank uh, uh, the chief from DEP that's with us today. You'll hear from him and his staff. They did a great job security-wise, search-wise, um, and using all the assets that they had available. <coughs> uh, the FBI came into the scene and brought in some specialized equipment to ping the phone of those uh, individuals that had been on the plane, and that immediately gave us a possible location. The coordinates were given, um, and the rescuers that were already on the land proceeded immediately to that location, led by the DEP team. Um, they found and uh, the, the wreckage. Uh, the uh, unfortunate victims were on the ground, um, and uh, it was confirmed that they were dead. Um, there was some wreckage in the trees, and uh, the scene was secured uh, with the assistance of Joan McDonald. Uh, the medical examiner was notified, immediately responded, uh, with his team, and as the county executive mentioned, because of the religious affiliation of these folks and the need to recover the bodies and have them buried, by uh, sundown today, uh, we all felt uh, the compassion and concern to, to help uh, remove those bodies as quickly as possible, have the medical examiner <coughs> do what he has to do, and uh, I'm pleased to report that uh, the bodies have been released. Uh, and are now being flown uh, to their home in Cleveland where they'll be buried in the appropriate fashion as their religion uh, desires. Um, I think uh, I've covered most of what I wanted to tell you about. Uh, just again, I want to tell you how impressive the coordinated effort was. April Gasparri and her team were amazing. Uh, again, we practice. But practice is not the same as the event. The pressure, the concern we all had, we didn't know where the plane was, all of that, the weather on top of it, quite a scene. But uh, wonderful people behind me. I should mention uh, um, two of my staff that were helping, helping us last night, uh, Dennis Del Borgo. Uh, he's a director of our Office of Emergency Management, and Chief Neil Computo is the coordinator of our fire services throughout the county. We had hundreds of firefighters there last night and police and EMS folks.